Okay, so welcome to another video. Today, I, um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So, before I became a photographer, I considered myself an artist. I didn't really think I was that great, but you know, art is subjective. So, what's great to one person might be horrible to somebody else, and what's horrible to one person might be great to somebody else. In any case, I have always been artistic. So, I decided that I wanted my channel to be more about all of the things I love. You know, in the YouTube world they say stick to one thing, but you know what, this is my world, I can do what I want. So today's video is going to be about this. Yes, coloring. I know you may have already seen my other coloring video, but I'm redoing that one. I did that at my mom's house and the lighting was horrible and I'm back in my own space, so yeah. So anyway, basically it's Copic markers that are used to color these and I decided to do this project to give you an example of how to use these markers as well as how to blend skin tones. And so that's what this video is going to be. Um, Copics are amazing markers, they're super expensive but they're super awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this started. I first want to note that this printout came from sandyallnook.com. She has uh, also this hex chart for Copics. It just kind of is a more visual way of representing the Copic charts and the Copics that you have. All right, so I'm going to be using the exact color Copic that's listed on the chart. You can also use the chart without the actual color numbers on there, but I like to go ahead and use the suggestions. I will note that I am coloring on top of a black mat, so that's why it looks kind of grayish. And so um, in a second, I'm just going to cover the background with another white sheet of paper. These markers blend really well. Um, notice what you want to do is just layer. So you start with your lightest hue and then move your way up. So I started with the base of the E000 and then used the E53 and just a, a portion of it and then the BV00 to add a little bit of shadow. And I'm going to do something similar with the rest of them. You just start with your lightest color and move your way forward. And if you need to blend all the colors together again, just use you know, your lighter colors to blend it and to really get a nice smooth consistency. So as you can see, I just go back and forth and back and forth with the, the different colors to really, really get the look that I want. I really like this diagram or chart because it just shows how many different tones and skin tones that you can get by combining your markers. There are so many shades and um, just working with them and blending helps to really bring out whatever look. These are highly customizable. I can't recommend them enough. And they're just, they're just really awesome. I, I love them. It's almost like painting with markers. I never really considered artwork with markers before because I'm thinking like Crayola or, you know, those sniff and whatever's but <laughs> you know these just really really have shown me um you know, just a new area there's so there's so much control that you can have with these and i really love them i hope you try them out okay so my e57 is a little wonky so you see how like the color here doesn't look continuous and smooth it's kind of blotchy that's something wrong with my marker that's not how it normally looks so I had to kind of play around with this one to get it really nice and smooth looking basically I couldn't let it dry any before I blend it I also really want to thank Sandy for creating a color chart that represented more than just the Caucasian community so many times um, people of color are left out and I really appreciate that she really tried to cover a wide variety of skin tones. And we're not just talking about Caucasian people and black people.
nose, but you want to be able to know how to transition it so that it looks more realistic. So doing this little project really <laughs> helped me see how horrible I am at saying the lines. But, you know, I try, but we're artists. We do what we want to do, right? So darker colors can be really hard to blend just because the transition is a little less smooth, I guess you could say. But it's very doable, as you can see by the last three or four that I did there. So I went ahead and decided to color everybody's shirt in a different color I'll go ahead and put the color names up here but really um, you can take the time to shade it properly or you could just do flat color like I did I wanted to keep the colors here like somewhat similar to rainbow colors but it's more than the colors in the rainbow I guess and I didn't want it to look too bland out I wanted it more random but I don't know that green really sticks out so <laughs> you know really just use whatever you have I also want to note that these colors don't come in a kit together these were all individually purchased so look for deals Copics can get really pricey so look for deals uh, when you buy them um, if you buy a set just see if it has any of the colors you want in it and then the other ones you can use for the shirts or the rainbow here so this rainbow doesn't have enough, I guess, area for all of the blending, like the red and orange, then yellow, then green, blue, um, purple, all that. So I just kind of chose four. And I also decided to make sure I colored all of the background in because I just like the way that looked a little bit better. The thing I would say, though, is to try not to use any of the colors in the shirts to touch the rainbow you can use the same colors but when they touch sometimes it blends a little bit too much but I did do that at the beginning and the end of the rainbow and that is it this is my chart if you do it let me know I would love to know um, your experience again you can get these absolutely free from I think it's free from sandyallnook.com I'll go ahead and link it below and I'll link the um, list the colors that I use I really appreciate you being here like totally appreciate you and I would really really love if you'd subscribe yeah can you check me out 